Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So we're going to be potting up some Hawarthia today. Got five plants here that could do with being in some bigger pots. These are all gifted plants as well. The top three were gifts from Catherine of Purple and Thorns. Then bottom left is from Clyde from Morris Park in the Ozarks. And bottom right is one my friend Phil sent to me. I've got quite a few more Hawarthia that are in need of a repot, so there will likely be a few of these videos to come this month. And one on Hawarthia propagation as well. But I'm going to remove a few offsets from these ones too. So we'll unpot them all first. This is Hawarthia Jack Brown. If I remember correctly, I think this is a cross between Hawarthia venosa and Limifolia. Got a little offset on it, which I'll pot up separately. Another little offset I've just noticed coming up there. Roots look pretty decent. Couple of other offsets there as well. So this one I'm going to remove and pot up separately. Already has its own little root system. Remove any dried up leaves. Yeah, nice roots on this one. Right, next one. This is Pygmaea variety Asperula. Getting ready to bloom again. A little offset on it as well. Crossed this one earlier in the year with Hawarthia retusa and both set seed. Roots look pretty nice again. Just tidy it up a little, again remove any old dried up leaves. Yeah, nice roots again on this one. This is Hawthia Sugar Candy. Several offsets on this one, so we'll propagate this one as well. Mm, that's a bit concerning. Some white stuff at the bottom of the pot. Don't think that's signs of mealy bug. I hope not anyway. Always a good time to check when you repot your plants though, especially for root mealybug. The water can be prone to those and they can be a nightmare to get rid of. I've dealt with root mealybug in the past and it wasn't a fun time. Roots look good though and I don't see any mealies thankfully. This larger offset off already has a few little roots on it. This one is Chloracantha, a nice small clump in Hawarthia. Mm, pretty shallow roots on this one. Looks healthy though. of this little clump separately. Right, last one. This is Hawarthia Pygmaea Powder Snow. Getting ready to send out a flower spike as well. This one didn't have many roots on it when I got it, so I'm interested to see how much root growing this one has done. Wow, quite a bit. Been a busy plant, this one.
So the soil mix I'm using is my regular mix for Hawarthia. In here we have pumice, zeolite, kiodama and some John Inns number 2 compost, all in equal parts. A nice open gritty mix that's well draining and dries out quickly. Right, seeing as we unpotted the Jack Brown first, we'll pot that one up to begin with. I'll just pot the one up and then probably speed the rest of the footage up. So yeah, horse here are pretty active this time of year. A lot of mine are now starting to put on new growth and a lot coming into flower again as well. So hopefully I'll be able to do some more pollinating and creating some more hybrids. I've got a Hawarthia pollination video on the channel if you've not seen that one yet. I'll link that up above and in the description below. Also recently did a Hawarthia care guide video as well if you're interested in checking that one out. So that's the first one done. I'll get the rest potted up quick and be back with you in just a minute. up top dress with some zeolite and the little offsets in their own pots as well so like i said there'll be a few more repotting videos i've got a few hawarthia that are even more desperate to be repotted with roots coming out of the top of the pots so stay tuned for those and the hawarthia propagation video as well because it's not just removing offsets that's the only method of propagating hawarthia so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and consider subscribing Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You will be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salamat pop alam. Bye for now.